Welcome everyone. My name is Natalie Lenz Acuna and I'm privileged to be the principal for this community. This is my second year as principal at St. Joseph School. I came from St. Paul School in San Pablo, making this my 10th year as a principal. St. Joseph community is a family. Teachers, staff, parents, and parishioners are generous with their support, involvement, and talents. By example, they model the value of hard work, the joy of achievement, and the responsibility of respecting others. Together we work in partnership, building a school of faith and service with transformative ideas and pedagogy that serves every child holistically and with love. The teachers and staff are dedicated to providing an equitable education of the whole child within a nurturing and faith-filled environment. Through blended learning, students learn from a variety of differentiated educational methods and opportunities as to how to be creative problem solvers and critical thinkers with their minds, hearts, and hands. Students in St. Joseph's School are prepared with 21st century skills. Each student learns to be open to new and innovative ideas, which is the foundation of the academic and educational ex excellence of each child. St. Joseph offers enrichment classes to all students. Students in TK through fifth grades learn Spanish, art, music, PE, typing, applications, and the proper use of technology. Middle school students in sixth through eighth grade grades learn Spanish in preparation for high school, tech applications, and coding. Art, PE, and this year we've introduced electives. The students are rotated through each trimester. These classes include artistic, technique, drama, video production, and cultural awareness discussion. At the beginning of the year, our students will have one-to-one -one devices to research, design, and present their ideas as well as collaborate with their classmates at St. Joseph's School and those other Catholic schools in the area. Our Catholic faith of acting, that is doing what Jesus did, is modeled by our teachers, staff, and parents. How to pray, be mindful, reflective, be grateful and kind, is what sets St. Joseph's Catholic School apart from the other educational opportunities in the area. Students are taught how to serve one another. Each student experiences service learning in several ways. It is important that we raise students of faith who recognize that they need to reach out to those who have less in our community. Several times a year, we collect food, personal care items, and clothes, partnering with Richmond Rescue Mission, the Red Cross, and St. Vincent de Paul to distribute where these items are most needed. We do this together in our faith families where one student from each grade make up a family where they learn from one another, by example. Each student is buddied with an older class member who partners with them in cross-curricular activities. For example, the third graders will help the kindergartners with a science experiment, and the fourth graders will work with an eighth grader on STEM projects. The school has a wide variety of clubs and activities to participate in after school, such as student council, the student newspaper called the Tiger Times, tutoring, CYO sports, which include girls and boys basketball and volleyball, track and field, and cross country. We contract with professionals and the city of Pinole who offer chess, band, cooking, and coding classes all within the safety and supervision of our after-school extended care program called the Tiger's Den. This year, despite the pandemic, we opened our TK classroom to children who are four years old and our preschool where we are licensed for 26 students from two years old, eight months. We have so many more plans this year to help expand a variety of learning opportunities to our students. We plan on building an outdoor classroom where students can learn in a different space and in fresh air. Adjacent to the classroom, we have planned a sustainable garden where each classroom has a garden bed to learn about the life cycle, sustainability, and what it means to eat from farm to table. 
this school year and community are like no other I've been a part of as an administrator or as a teacher. In partnership, in need, in celebration, and in dedication, the teacher, staff, and parish give so much of themselves to create a stellar academic and educational opportunities. But more importantly, they offer memories of going to school here that will last a lifetime. Come and see what I'm talking about. First grade is the only place in all of your education where you will encounter all of the letters and all of the spellings. Kindergarten introduces from A to Z. First grade does all of the spelling and all of the digraphs. All of it? Yes, all of it. And we learn to read with them too. Oh, so fun. And in second grade, they do a review of what we end with. So first grade is um, very important in a child's learning. Um, and I believe the open court does a wonderful job um, in math, we learn addition and subtraction all the way up to 20 with um, word problems. And in science, we do really fun things like learning life cycles. You mean what a baby looks like when they're born? Yes, like a baby frog. It doesn't look like it's mom or dad at all. You've been learning a lot. I just eat them. Oh, Miss Witch. Miss Witch does fun things like give us reading fingers so that we can read and follow along with all the letters. Yeah! I have fun getting those, ha 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 ha. Yeah, you're a funny lady. So in first grade, we do lots of fun things. We do arts and crafts um, that supplements our learning in our science and social studies. And again, Open Court is wonderful in that it does cross-curricular. So while we're learning all of our ABCs, sounds and spellings, we're also learning science, social studies, and religion. The thing I like the most about St. Joseph's School is how connected and welcoming the community is. I always feel like I belong here in St. Joseph's School. We want to welcome you. Hello, my name is Mrs. Leamy and I teach second grade. I have been teaching second grade for two years here at St. Joseph's School. Second grade is very dear to me because I get to prepare the students for their first Holy Communion. Um, during the second grade, they transition from first grade to becoming a little kid to a big kid. It's a huge deal for both parents and for the students. In second grade, students learn how to write a full paragraph, including introduction, body, and conclusion. And they also learn how to participate in academic conversations. And my students understand the power of yet, that they may not be able to do something right now, but they will eventually learn how to do it on their own. And they will fully understand whatever it is that they're working on. Um, in distance learning, uh, my plan resembles very closely of the normal classroom. And I have about 80% um, rate of synchronous learning and 20% asynchronous. And when we did come back into the full um, in-classroom learning or a hybrid model, students will be doing a blended learning where they will have a combination of must-dos and may-dos. Must-dos are assignments that students must complete uh, on their own, while may-dos are worksheets and um, work on their device such as Freckle or Rats Kids that they might be able to choose and be able to complete independently on. So now you know more about second grade in St. Joseph School. I hope you will consider becoming part of our community. I look forward to seeing you soon. I think St. Joseph School is a really great environment. It is very fun the teachers will help you learn new things every single day. The children here are very kind too.
come join us at St. Joseph's School. Hello, uh, I am Ann Pyers. I'm the fifth grade teacher here at St. Joseph, and I've been here for eight years. Um, I've worked in the Oakwood Diocese for over 30 years. Um, in fifth grade, we concentrate on U.S. history, and one of the things that I like to have the students do is they pick a state, one of the 50 states, and they have to do a report, and I take them through all the steps on the uh, state. They, um, one of the things that the students really like to do is they have to create a float or a sculpture that represents their state and uh, share that with the class. Um, another thing that is very fun with fifth grade is we go up to CYO Caritas Camp. Um, it's up near Occidental. We spend five days up there hiking in the redwoods and learning all about science and God and nature and getting to know each other. Um, the students just have a blast. They never want to come home. So if you'd like to join us and you think those things are fun, uh, please come visit us here at St. Joseph. I really like St. Joseph School because the community is really uh, centered around our faith and all of the friends I've made here are really nice and they care for me. Also, the faculty and staff here love to uh, take care of us and challenge us at the same time when it comes to our education. I like St. Joseph School because the teachers are welcoming and intelligent. I also like how my classmates are well behaved and they're very nice to me. Come join us at St. Joseph School. I'm Erin Tucker and I am the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade language arts teacher as well as the 6th grade homeroom teacher. I've been teaching for 18 years and this is my first year at St. Joseph and I couldn't be happier. I love the community that I am part of. They have welcomed me with open arms and they have really shown that we are a group of educators in really wanting to make sure that our students are academically striving as well as socially and emotionally well. And that is what I have seen in the few months that I've been here. Um, as a middle school teacher, I feel that it's so important for us to help them develop who they are. Um, their responsibility grows and yet their world is changing and it is our job to really help them figure out who they are and figure out how to develop study skills that can help them be prepared and turn them into confident high school students. So by the end of um, middle school life, they should feel ready and willing and so excited to start high school because they feel so prepared. So that's one part of being middle school teacher. And then as the language arts teacher, it's my job to give them as many opportunities to investigate authors and to analyze their writing and figure out exactly what style that they have and what they want to develop. It's important that they continue to strengthen their grammar and their English and um, do it in a way that they feel like they have really grown um, as a reader and a writer. Um, it's important to me that they feel that they can confidently write essays to portray their um, their thoughts in there and express their feelings well. It's also important that they are able to um, write narrative pieces. It's important that they are um, writing informational pieces as well as persuasive pieces. So that's kind of what we take them through um, every, every year of middle school. Hi, I'm Mr. Mike Sasser. I teach middle school math at St. Joseph Benol, and I teach a seventh grade at home. For me, math is not just a series of steps to be followed. To me, math is an opportunity for deep thinking. When I teach math, what I want to do is emphasize the why behind how it works. When we add fractions, why do we need a common denominator? We multiply fractions, why don't we? 
We had decimals. Why do we need to line up our decimals when we multiply them? Why not? To me, learning the why behind math is building flexible knowledge. And when you have flexible knowledge, and it's not just a series of steps, you can apply what you've learned with me in sixth grade, and you can use it in seventh grade, eighth grade, and as alumni tell me, on through high school. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Jenny Chua, and I'm the middle school science teacher. So in all of my science classes, I try to make science really enjoyable and engaging for students who might show an interest in language arts, who might show an interest in math. Um, I think science is a great way to help teach logic to students at any age. We do virtual labs, we do uh, experimental demos, we do conversation. It's not just me lecturing at students, which I really enjoy. We have fruitful discussions in class about the material that we're learning, about connections to real life. We would love for you to be part of our community and for you to come learn about some science. My name is Kathy Brenstein and I teach middle school religion and social studies here at St. Joseph's School. This is my 24th year at St. Joseph and my 37th year in the Diocese of Oakland. And I'm a very proud St. Joseph's School graduate, class of 1972. The reason why I love St. Joseph's School is because it is truly a faith community. We are a people of faith. It is our faith that gives us direction in everything that we do here at St. Joseph's School. And St. Joseph is known for its faith and its academics. And our academics are rooted in faith too. We're a parish community, which means many of our families are part of the parish. The school and the parish work to support each other, whether it is working with setup and cleanup and with the YLI events, students altar serving at Sunday Mass, and of course with everybody working at Oktoberfest. Our principal, Natalie Lenz Acuna, and our pastor, Father Joffrey Baran, are true leaders in this school-parish partnership. We are a community school St. Joseph's School has been involved in the City of Pinole events with our Boy Scouts working the Pinole Senior Center Crab Feed, the Pinole Historical Society Annual Veterans Day Service at Fernandez Park, and the Pinole Police Department has recognized a number of our students each month with the program that they have instituted. We are always thrilled to have our resource officers on campus, whether it's for Halloween, drive through parades, or just morning assembly. The parish and school worked hand in hand to sponsor a blue mass honoring the officers last year. And this year, because of the pandemic, Father Joffrey led a rosary in front of the church, praying for the safety of our officers. We are a school, in person or remote. The middle school program has always been rigorous and challenging, and that didn't stop when we went to distance learning back in March. In fact, we pretty much kept to our regular schedule with live meets. We had the can-do attitude from the get-go. All of our teachers and students, and of course parents, worked hard to learn the online pro programs and platforms so we could maintain a challenging curriculum. St. Joseph's School could not succeed and flourish without the combined efforts of the parents, students, teachers, and staff. The pastor and his associates, our wonderful parish community, and the surrounding community at large. Together, we make this a faith community that is a great place to be and learn. I like St. Joseph's School because the teachers and the staff are really nice and I feel very safe in this environment that we are in.
Joseph has an amazing sports program featuring sports like boys basketball and girls, girls volleyball, cross country, track and track and field. I'm a part of the volleyball and girls basketball team. We have had a great season. It was really fun. Come join us at St. Joseph School where everybody gets an opportunity to play and learn. The people at St. Joseph School really are supportive and help you become better people in the classroom and on the court. I've been part of the basketball team here uh, since the fourth grade, since I came to St. Joseph School. And our team has been very successful and gone to the playoffs multiple times. And without my teammates, we need each other to be successful on the court. Here at St. Joseph's School, you're given a wonderful faith-based education, which is given to you by the amazing staff we have here, who really try to help you succeed. They also put such a strong emphasis on community, and we usually have many community-based events. We invite you to join us.